Hey, what's going on YouTube? Superman here. It's a bit of a kind of late stream tonight. Um, Dawn of Destiny mini box just came out uh, probably a few hours ago. And since I have a thousand and change in gems, might, might as well do some opening. So um, I'm not going to go through all the cards that are listed here, but I'm, I am excited about this card here this card tribute to the doom i kind of predicted this like a month back that it's gonna come because well, well I'd probably everyone predicted it that, that it's coming but i did say i actually had i don't know where it is but oh there it is i found it i found it it's from the yugi structure deck um en026 so there it is folks um i think this came in um in a super rare as well but that's just a common card but yeah i'm excited about this also who doesn't like blowing up the back row sacred phoenix of nephthys now i don't know thoughts on this kind of random but i'm gonna say that I'm going to use this card just basically for some back row hate. That's all I'm going to use this for. So, um, now I also would like El Blood. This card is treated as a normal, it's a Gemini, so you got to normal summon, but I'm not sure what card can summon from. Although, if cards of Savior Turn was here. Um, probably Gozuki or Red Eyes um, Zombie Dragon. If that's really a thing right now, I don't know. Um, but I do want to pull that card along with. But we're, well, obviously we're not gonna pull all three, all set in just a thousand gems. It's not just possible. I mean, I may spend a bit of money because I'm really not free to play it's just hard for me to to get all the cards with you know work-life balance kind of thing but I'm gonna stop talking and I'm just gonna do it one by one one pack each I get about 20 23 packs 23 packs to open so I'm gonna start with one with one Let's see, right, okay, so right away, it's, it's cute little pack here, Dawn of Destiny, kind of, what is this? Is this pink, purplish, yellow? It's cute. It's cute packaging. So we get our plant support, the cheery support. Let's just re read this a little, <laughs> a little bit. You can tribute this card and one Naturia monster to negate the activation of an effect. Of an effect monster, did I read that correctly? To negate the activation of an effect of an effect monster, your opponent controls and destroy it. You contribute this card and a Naturia monster. So basically, it's a two for one kind of thing, which is a bit much just to negate a mon. Well, just. I guess if you do a Divine Wrath, you could do. But Dark Paladin is also viable for this. But you can only, you only spend one card for Dark Paladin if you're using that type of build. But two cards for <clears throat> one negation? I don't know. Activate only if you control a face-up Naturia monster. The opponent's effect monster cannot activate their effects this turn. Wow. Okay, so we got some Naturia support here. Plant support. Well, actually, just Naturia. So, Rare Dragon... Um, red Rare. Because I saw R and then red. I just figured it's a rare dragon ninja. So it's a, a bit of a tiny text there. When this card is summoned, you can banish one ninja or ninjutsu art. Really? I'm a fan of Naruto. So I'm going to just try to build this. Although, it's a fire. It's a fire support as well as winged beast. Okay. Um... 
I just can't read it. The text is so tiny. When this card is summoned, you can banish one ninja or ninjutsu art card from your graveyard. So you gotta fill your grave. To target one set card your opponent controls, reveal that set card, then turn it to the top or bottom of the deck. Your opponent can then activate the targeted card in response to this effect's activation. You can only use the effect of Red Dragon Ninja once per turn. I guess that's pretty cool too. Um, Alright, that, that was the first pack. Okay, I'm only gonna read the new cards that I, I pull. I'm not gonna do multis, because if I pull the card I want, which is probably the Ultra, I'm gonna have to reset the box. Because that's just how I'm gonna do it. Invasion of Flames, another fire support pyro. When this card is almost summoned successfully, no trap cards can be activated. Interesting. But well, you can still negate it with. Um, uh, Champion's Vigilance, because when when you negate the summon, it can be. It's negated, basically. And I've read that one. Death Wombat. Damn. I don't remember where the cards are. I, I still have this card lying around somewhere. Any damage do you take to you from a card effect becomes zero. So a very freaking good counter for... You know it. You guessed it, Taya Burn. Damn, summon this? By Taya Burn, I guess? But... Yes. I like this. I like this already. I like this. Uh, that, that's all I can say about it. That card. I like it. Because it's a counter for Taya Burns and any burn decks really. Alright. I'm on my third pack here. Fire King Avatar Kirin Beast. If a phase up Fire King monster you control is destroyed by a card effect except during the damage step you can special summon this card from your hand from your hand period if this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard you can send one fire monster from your deck from your deck to the graveyard so if a face up fire king okay so fire king archetype which is fire this deck is gonna be fire <laughs> you control is destroyed by a card. Alright, so this is a Fire King. If this is destroyed, except during damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. Huh? You can special summon this card from your hand. If a phase up Fire King monster you control is destroyed, any type of Fire King, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can send one Fire monster from your deck to the graveyard. So th there are probably other cards that can special summon Fire King monsters from the, from the graveyard, and I still haven't seen that. Invasion of Flames, we've read that. A tree look <laughs> is so cute card. When this card is normal summon, you can send one Nature monster from your deck to the graveyard once per turn. When this card is normal, you can send one Nature monster from your deck to the graveyard. So, mm, okay, um, I see a couple of cards that can fill up your graveyard, which is Flower and the Plant. You can target two Nature monsters in your graveyard, shuffle both those cards in the deck, then draw one card. Draw power. It's a little bit on the low end of the attack, but if it's anything to draw, I guess that would be good too. Alright. Nothing. Oh shoot, I forgot. To, uh, what was that? It was, it was a zombie. This was a vampire dragon. When this card tribute summoned is tribute summoned, card summoned the field to the graveyard. When this tributes, oh, it's a level five. Okay, when this tribute summon card is sent, from the field to the graveyard, you can add one level four or lower monster from your deck to your hand. Le level four or lower, but it has to be has to be killed first, like goblin zombie. Here we go, Fire King Avatar Yaksha. This actually came as a super rare in real life. 
So if a face of Fire King monster you control is destroyed by a card effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can destroy one card in you can destroy one card in your hand or that you control. Okay, so you can only use this effect of Fire King Avatar, the actual one's returning. So there's probably cards that when you destroy by this effect, that can do something to your opponent. I'm just assuming. Definitely a good archetype to build. Oh, let me just see this. Bone Crusher. Okay, so this is kind of like, um, when this card is special summoned from your graveyard by an effect of a zombie monster, maybe Gozuki, you can target one spell card, your opponent control. Spell trap card, your opponent control. Destroy the target. During the end phase of the turn, this card was special summoned. Destroy it. Zombie support. All right, got about 900 summon gems. Let's see. Come on, give me something good, like a shiny, like a shiny. We got Kirin, we got Bone Crusher, and Hand of Nephthys. Definitely a, a very essential card for the Nephthys build. You can tribute this card and one other monster special summon one sacred phoenix of nephthys from your hand or deck right so you can tribute this card and one other monster so that other monster could have another effect as well when tributed or when sent to the graveyard i need three of those <clears throat> but i don't think i'm gonna get a set of three tonight but we'll see and we got the moss we got the tree eggplant holy eggplant when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard you can select one Echiria monster in your graveyard except this guy and add it to your hand a recycling a recycling card okay we got another support for warrior not that much brush fire knight what if oh a fire and a monster I mean a warrior when a fire monster is destroyed and sent to the graveyard when a fire monster okay so we could use this for tire send one fire monster from your deck to the graveyard again we're filling our graveyards when this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard send one fire monster from your deck to the graveyard you can only use wow we're sending a lot of stuff to the graveyard but I still don't see a synergy with the other cards. I don't know. I might might see it, but or I just don't know what cards are in synergy or in. <laughs> oh, there we go. Please don't be a troll. Ah, uh, it's a troll. It's a troll legal. Vampire dragon. Cards of the soul. Look at your deck, and if you do, we can add one monster card from your deck to your hand, whose sum of attack and defense equals. Your life points. What can I use this card for? I don't know. One card in this whole turn. I'm not sure. Fire King Island. Essential for the Fire King build. If this face up card in the field zone is sent to the graveyard or banished, destroy all monsters you control. Okay, you can only use one of the following. During your main phase, you can destroy one monster in your hand or you control. Okay, so I guess you need this full card. If you can hold. Oh, shoot. Uh, anyway, there we go. It's a bigger one. So if you control no monsters, you can special summon one fire winged beast type monster from your hand. A fire winged beast. So a fire winged beast. Can it be a Nephthys? It doesn't have to be a fire king monster. It just has to be a fire winged beast type. Okay. That's pretty cool. No ultras so far. And we've got 760 gems left. Maturia Pumpkin. Uh, when this card is normal summon, if your opponent controls a monster, you can special summon one Maturia monster from your hand. Okay, so we've we still got those high attack nature monsters. And another death wombat. So I just need one more. 
There we go. It was you know what? I was waiting for this type of card just to just to counter burn mix. Please be an ultra. Dang. Um, we've got Exterior Fang. Activate only when if you control a face of the monster and have at least one card in your hand. Negate the activation of an opponent's spell and trap card and destroy it. It's a counter trap. We gotta have at least one card in your hand. Then send one card from your hand to the graveyard. What? You gotta send that one card that you have. Hmm. I guess you gotta take the risk, right? It's a gamble, but you can save your life points for one turn. If the effect of an Achurian monster you control was activated during this turn, you can it's a 19 beater, but it's a level 5. It's, but you can special summon it with um I think that pumpkin pumpkin um Nichiri monster. You can special summon this card from your hand. If the effect of the Nichiri monster control was activated during this turn, you can special okay. Cool. And we got the ceiling ceremony of Katon. I guess we got some Sasuke Ninja. Uh, once per turn, you can banish one fire monster from your graveyard. Target one card in your opponent's graveyard and banish that target. Once per turn, you can banish one fire monster from your. You gotta banish your own too. It's okay, but it's good with uh, Necrofear and Fiend. It's a good counter for it. We all know that. Um, it's a like what the hell? Oh. What is this? How do you pronounce that name? Materia Hydran Hydran G? Did I read that? Before? It doesn't say new. If the effect of the Cherry Monster Control was activated, just. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I read it before. Right. And that, and that. If I don't get an Ultra, I might just spend some money. There's a sale going on right now. Fire King, Avatar, Kirin, and Beast Rising. Oh shit. Man. Once per turn, you can remove from play one face of Beast type or Beast Warrior type monster you control to select one other face of Beast type or Beast. Type. What? Selected monster gains. The original attack of the monster in your effect. I forgot that card's name. I know they're a, a Jama green, black, and yellow, but that card. Um, Berserk Gorilla? Yeah, I remember. Berserk Gorilla. Okay. Yeah. We got five packs left to go. Sorry, ten packs. No ultra so far, which feels bad right now. Maturi's Tag Beetle. Um, your opponent activates a card effect. You can special summon. You can select one Maturi monster in your graveyard. Special summon that monster from the graveyard. Cool. Puzzle Reborn. If exactly one monster you control and no other cards is destroyed by a card effect. That target monster. Target that monster, especially some that target. Hmm. Okay. Another Call of the Haunted type card. We got Invasion of Flames, Pumpkin, and Dark Flare Knight. Flame Swordsman and Dark Magician. If Dark pa Paladin is not OP enough, 
You give this another support, you take no battle damage from battles involving this card. When this card is destroyed, and sent to a special summon Mirage Knight from your hand or deck. Mirage Knight. Ooh. Come on, Nefties. Please. Oh, so cute. It's just a fluff with two cute eyes. Are you giving me an ultra tonight, please? We got Bow Crusher. Got one eyed vampire dragon. Yes, this is my second nephews. I like them. Jeez, really? Not giving me love, huh? Vampire baby. It would be nice if this baby has a pacifier. I actually thought that little green round thing under his um, <laughs> chin was a pacifier. But no, it's just a button. At the end of the battle phase, if this card destroyed a monster by battle, how can this card destroy a monster by battle? Well, I guess... Shine Balls? Because that's the only card I can think of that this baby can destroy. And I think they're- oh no. Sorry, I'm mistaken. There's also Blazing and Patchy. There's also Venus, which has anything that has zero attacks. And Jerry Beans. But uh, they have to be in defense mode though. Okay, so you can spare some of that monster to your side of the field. And then you synchro with that one. Nah, I'm just joking. Um, it's, well, it's gonna be good for synchro too. It's kinda like a, a Goya. We got Sunflower and Anti-Magic Prism. When your opponent activates a quick play spell card, select one card on the field and destroy it. Holy. When your opponent activates a quick play spell card, so, we all know what quick play spell cards that are popular right now. OTC, Econs, those two. Select one card in the field and destroy it. Wow. I, I just, it's a very splashable card. It's gonna be a staple. Wait, how many cards are there? Seven packs, one, okay. Baby, Stag Beetle, and another one of those. Yes! I just need three of those. It's a very nice side deck card if you are in a tournament. Yeah, Vampire Lady. And this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent. Declare one card type, monster, spell, or trap. Your opponent sends one card from that type from their deck to the graveyard. I'm not sure if it has the same effect as Lord. It's a similar effect, but I'm not sure if a monster type. Five more packs. Am I getting something? No. Some troll faces. Activate only if you control a phase of the tree monster, your opponent cannot activate trap cards this turn. Cool. And we have this. Target. I'm definitely gonna build a ninja deck. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of ninjas. Tribute one ninja monster to target one monster your opponent controls. Banish that target while that card is banished. Its monster card zone cannot be used on this phase of card leaves the field, return that card banished by this effect to that same monster card zone in the same battle position. Okay. It's kind of like um, interdimensional matter transporter or dimension gate. 
Only the removal part, though. But the other effect is really different. Jeez, really, I have like four cards left and got no, no Ultra Shine. Okay, that's my third Nefties, which I'm happy about. Come on, give me something good, dude. Seriously, nothing, huh? Farking Island. I think that was my third Farking Island. Rush fire. Oh gosh, this is the last one. Nothing, huh? You're gonna do me like that, Dawn of Destiny? Seriously? Fine, 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 I get it. Since I left the game, I kinda wanna support it too. <laughs> so, since there's a sale going on right now, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. A dollar and thirty-nine. What could go wrong, right? Oops. I took the wrong one out. There we go. Um one thirty-nine. One freaking thirty-nine. You're not going to see it on um, the screen because I turned that thing off. Um, there we go. I got it. Three packs. We got another Shadow Ceiling, another Eggplant, and another Maroon. Shagaron. Magaron. I drank our third prison, which is good. See that, dude? Please be something. It's a spell card. It could be an SR. Could be. I'm just assuming. Yep, it's an SR. We got Super Rush Headlong. Target one, phase up monster you control, and declare one attribute. If that target battles an opponent's monster with that attribute this turn, destroy that opponent's monster at the start of the damage step. Holy crap, pretty fucking awesome. Sorry. That could be... This, this could be a replacement for OTC. So you're gonna declare an attribute. If that target battles an opponent's monster with a declared attribute this turn, this could wreck a lot of shit. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, a dollar and thirty-nine, and you get one SR. What does that tell you? A thousand gems? Nada. Come on. So, three packs plus one SR, and it's 279. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Just one Ultra, please. One. Just one. Here we go. See that, dudes? Do you see that? And we have the Knight of the Flame, the Zombie Gemini. Okay. And we got another con um, guaranteed SR, so I hope that's. Um, look at this, dude. Oh, it's a rare. 
Yaksha. So hopefully I can build a fire king deck with this, but I might need other cards. Let's see what we uh yes, are we doing? Yes! Yes! Alright. Just one more. One more of those. Just one more of those, please. So, 10 packs plus 1 SR. I, I'm gonna go for it. I will go for that. Because a sale is a sale, right? Here we go. But honestly though, in my experience of opening packs, um, just money trumps gems, man. Uh, sad to say, but it is. Okay, we got all these Death Wombat. That's probably my third one. I'm set for that. I finally, uh, finally counter the heck out of burn decks so hazy flame all right it's a pyro your opponent cannot target this card with card effects once per turn you contribute one other fire monster this card gains something 300 attack okay. possible sr nope A baby, a hydrogen G, whatever that is. Any more new cards that we can get from this box? There's only like 50 something left. I'm happy with that. Two quick play spell cards. And we have. Good Goblin Housekeeping. Draw cards equal to the number of Good Goblin Housekeeping cards. Kind of like Jar of Greed, but if you have a Jar of Greed in the graveyard, you draw an extra one. But select one card from your hand and return it to the bottom of your deck. Huh. Housekeeping lives up to its card game. Beast Rising, and that is it. Um, did we get anything? Actually, no. That's, that's quite bad. But we do get a confirmed SR. Hopefully, it's the. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. The Dark Hex Shield, so any Dark Fusion monster. You can set any. Mm, correct, you contribute Fusion Material monsters on the field. Including this face up card. Okay. That's not too bad actually. Okay. We've got. Okay. This is going to be the last one. Okay, last 12 packs, please, let there be light, <laughs> let there be ultra, please. Serious Fang, Viper Dragon, that's one max. I'm just gonna go through this quickly. Um, Fire King Kirin, Brushfire Knight, Brushfire, did it say Brushfire? Brushfire, Barkin Bark, and a Dark Player Knight. 
Invasion Flames, Beast Rising. Come on. We gotta get at least one Ultra. Please. Hazy Flame, something. Nope, it's a troll. Troll Clovery Bow. This will probably be an SR. Or an Ultra. There you go. I mean, how many do you need in the deck? Because it can probably come back. It can be resurrected. Every look at this. During your next standby phase, after this card was destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, special summon this card from the graveyard. When you do, destroy all spawn trappers on the field. Wait, what? I'll read it after this. Vampire Dragon, Good Goblin, Housekeeping, Please no. I hope I was gonna get another Ultra. Prison. Fire King Island. No, come on. Give me some light show. Good goblins. And that's it. This better be the quick play spell card. Alright, let me read this one more time. We do destroy all this one. Okay, so during your next standby phase after this card was destroyed by card effect and sent to the graveyard special on this card. I'm not sure if this all you can only special some of this once. I think it's during your next time step or oh okay it's only during it doesn't say every it doesn't say during each of your okay it's only one time then my mistake that's so bad though really so broken and a heavy night of flame which is pretty good okay i'm gonna end this stream for now guys um if this is your first time here please don't forget to hit that sub button and as always, dude, thank you for watching. Keep it mints. Peace.